guys, it's Jessie V, and in today's video I'm going to be telling you a very creepy legend about Jingle Bells, which is definitely creepy to hear about because it's one of the most popular Christmas songs and we hear it all the time, especially around this time of year, and now whenever you hear it, you're gonna think about this video. So sorry in advance. Also last announcement for Backdrop, if you have not seen my previous two videos, if you'd like to win this dark wintry Christmas town backdrop with Santa flying overhead, all you have to do is be subscribed to this channel, turn on your notification bell, head over to my Instagram, it is jessiev, give it a follow if you haven't already, and DM me any Christmas emoji that you would like, and I'll be announcing the winner in a couple weeks. And last announcement about our Christmas mystery boxes, if you guys would like one in time for Christmas, I will link it down below, we're almost sold out, thank you guys so so much, I loved this year's boxes, they just smell so amazing, it's all about self-care, there's yummy treats in there, so if you'd like one, link down below. Okay, so let's start off with the Jingle Bells origins. Like I said, Jingle Bells is said to be the most well-known Christmas carol in the world and it was written in the autumn of 1857 and it was originally meant to be a Thanksgiving song, which definitely surprises me, and it was first titled One Horse Open Sleigh. Something I find very interesting is that Jingle Bells became the very first song to be broadcast from space on December 16th of 1965 and the astronauts also sent this message to Michigan control. It says, we have an object, looks like a satellite going from north to south, probably in polar orbit. I see a command module and eight smaller modules in front. The pilot of the command module is wearing a red suit. So they were clearly hinting that they saw Santa using, you know, astronaut space terms, and I just find that really, really cool. Okay, so we're just gonna jump right into it and talk about something called the Jingle Bell Incident. In the small town of Frostbrook, there was an eerie Christmas Eve tradition that locals whispered about behind closed doors. And as the clock struck midnight, a mysterious figure would suddenly appear in the town square, armed with an old jingling bell. The townspeople would gather around this figure to witness a haunting rendition condition of jingle bells, and with every ring of the bell, the temperature went down a degree, gradually getting colder and colder. And as this song played for everyone to hear, faces of long gone residents materialized in the icy air before them, their expressions revealing tales of joy, sorrow, and for some, unfinished business. Some townspeople even claimed to hear the anguished cries of the departed trapped between the notes of the haunted tune. So they were just all standing in this circle, absolutely hypnotized by this figure and jingle bells. It was like for those three minutes that it played, the ghosts of the fallen were able to join them for that experience, which is so haunting and creepy. It reminds me of the story of Scrooge, the ghost of Christmas past, present, and future. And as the final jingle faded away, the mysterious figure vanishes into the night, leaving the bewildered townspeople terrified and confused. Whispers of the the Jingle Bells incident spread like wildfire, cautioning newcomers to steer clear of the unsettling Christmas Eve tradition in Frostbrook. And I did find a warning that says to never go outside in the middle of winter, in the middle of the night, to ring Jingle Bells while you sing the song. Apparently you will see ghostly figures in the distance of people who died in the area. So like you're literally going out with your bells in the middle of winter and just like jingling for the ghosts to like appear, which is creepy, and I might try it. And of course I found another creepy story Story about Jingle Bells, and this one is called The Jingle Bells Poem. It was a winter's night, colder and darker than any other, and a group of friends gathered in an old creaky cabin nestled deep within the woods with the wind howling outside. And as the night wore on, the friends were trying to find a way to entertain themselves. One of them named Sarah, known for her fascination with the supernatural, revealed an ancient book she claimed to have discovered in the cabin's attic. The pages were fragile, filled with bizarre bizarre illustrations and cryptic verses, and among those unsettling passages was a poem tied to the forbidden secrets of Jingle Bells. With a sly grin, Sarah insisted they recite the poem together, promising an unforgettable experience. So her friends were both excited but scared to do this, but they gathered around as she began to read the poem, and here is how the poem goes. In the dead of night, when shadows roam beneath the moon's pale ghostly dome, Sing the song that secrets tell, unlock the realm of jingle bells. Jingling echoes through the air, a twisted melody, a ghostly affair. In the dark the spirits dwell, 
awakened by the jingle bells. But beware, dear friends, of what you find, for once the portal is unlined, a sinister presence in darkness dwells, bound to the haunting jingle bells. Should you wish to heed this call, sing the song within these walls, but escape the grasp of the spectral spells, or forever be bound to jingle bells. And as her last words echoed through the cabin, an unsettling stillness covered the room. The friends all looked at each other completely uneasy, wondering what they just unlocked in their cabin. The air seemed to thicken with an otherworldly presence, and a distant jingling rang in their ears. Suddenly, the cabin's temperature dropped, and the flickering candle candlelight cast ghastly shadows on the walls, and the friends who were now terrified felt this pulsating happening in the room, and the jingling intensified, resonating through the cabin like a spectral choir. They saw all these shadows filling the cabin, reaching for them, and the poem's verses echoed in their minds, haunting them as they fled the cabin. And years later, those who survived that fateful night still speak in hushed tones of the Jingle Bells poem. They warn others not to recite its verses, for the spirits awakened by the twisted melody continue to linger, waiting for the next unsuspecting soul to become entwined in the haunting world of Jingle Bells. I just recited it. I am very scared. <laughs> I'm like looking around, making sure everything's okay. Don't worry, you guys are safe because you didn't actually say it, and you're also not actually in the room with me, so I'm the only one in danger. I'm really scared. <laughs> anyway, so guys, that is the end of today's video. If you want me to continue doing Christmas videos, give this video a thumbs up and let me know. And don't forget if you would like a Christmas mystery box, I've linked it down below, but I hope you have an awesome rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.